First off, MAN is the built-in help system in Linux. MAN is short for manual, and a MAN page is simply the documentation for a given program or command. You can use the MAN command to read MAN pages. To get help with the MAN command itself, run MAN MAN. From there, you can get additional help by typing the letter H. To quit or exit out of a MAN page, type Q. The MAN command uses less to display MAN pages. This allows you to navigate within a man page using Vim key bindings. You can move down a line by typing J, move up a line by typing K, move forward a screen by typing Control F, and move backwards a screen by typing Control B. To go to the very beginning of the man page, type lowercase g, and to go to the very end, type capital G. Next, you learn the conventions that are used in man pages. For example, you learn that when you see bold text in a man page, you're supposed to type it exactly as seen. For italic or underlined text, you need to substitute it with something appropriate. You also learn that anytime you see something in brackets, it's optional. If a pair of options are separated by a pipe symbol, they can only be used one at a time and not together. You also learn that anything that appears directly before an ellipsis can be repeated. From there, we talked about how to combine single character options using one hyphen. For example, the shortened version of ls space dash l space dash h is ls space dash lh, and both commands are exactly the same in behavior. For some options, you can use a short format or a long format. In the man page, these options are separated by a comma, which means that you can use either form you wish. When a long format of an option requires an argument, the short format does too, even if it's not explicitly stated in the man page. For example, ls space dash dash width equals 60 is the same as ls space dash w space 60. Also, you can remove the space between the single character option and its argument, so ls space dash w 60 is valid syntax as well. You learned about the various man page sections and how to tell man to use a specific section for a given man page. The format is man followed by the section followed by the man page. For example, to see the man page for unlink in section 2, you would execute man to unlink. You can search through man pages using the dash k option to the man command. Man will display the sections in parentheses for each of the matching man pages. This is how you can tell if there is more than one man page for a given command. We also talked about bash built-in commands and how many times they don't have their own dedicated man pages. To see the documentation for these internal shell commands, use the help command. To determine if a command is an executable file on a system or if it's a shell built-in, use the type command. Finally, we talked about how many commands will display a help message if you supply the dash dash help argument to the command. Some commands will also respond to dash h. Well, you've made it to the end and I sincerely hope that you found this video helpful. By the way, if you want a copy of my own notes, visit linuxtrainingacademy.com forward slash man, that's forward slash man, and you can get a copy of all my notes that I use to create this presentation. So if you need a cheat sheet or a reminder, go ahead and go there now. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, I'm sure you would love my courses where I not only teach and demonstrate like I've done here today, but I also give you practice exercises in labs so that you can use what you've learned in the real world. So head on over to linuxtrainingacademy.com where you'll find a variety of self-paced Linux courses as well as instructor-led courses. All these courses are all online, available anytime that you're ready. I hope to see you there.